Hi everyone, Sarah here with Fisher Price Ranch. Um, sorry, it's falling off the roof. We don't have a gutter there by our door. Um, first off, hit that subscription button and the notification bell for updates on our next videos. So we did get the snow last night. Uh, we got about six inches. You can see some still behind us. Uh, it is melting pretty quickly, but it's, it's actually kind of flurrying a little bit right now. Um, but today I thought I would talk about the weather um, and what we are going to be doing later on the, this next week. So um, it's supposed to get really warm in about two days and it's going to be sunny. Um, so we're going to be working on the pastures a little bit. We're going to be working on, uh, we're going to be building a barn for the chicken pen. We're going to be building a new one with nest boxes. And then, um, oh, let's see. Oh, we have gravel coming in soon, hopefully, so we can get all, rid of all this mud. Um, we're just kind of waiting to see what's going on, you know, with the crazy world and everything. So I'm sure everything's going to be kind of put off for a little bit. But uh, today I do want to go over electric. So um, <clears throat> let me get my tool to test for the electric. But I have my electric fences clicking right now. So I thought I'd show you guys how I figure out what's going on with it and how to fix it. And then also when we redo the buck pen, we're going to string out brand new electric and we'll show you how to do that and how it's set up. All right, so I went and got my electric tester. This is what it looks like. So it'll just tell me how many volts um, the wire is putting out. Um, now, depending on how far away it is from the box, it could be a little bit less, but usually they're rated for long distances. This one's meant for 30 miles, and I got it because I know that we're going to try and move in the next year and get at least 40 acres. So, kind of prepared. So, if you listen, you can hear that clicking. It shouldn't be that loud. So, that's telling me that it is touching the fence somewhere. So, let me turn the camera around. This is my box, so you guys can see what brand and which kind I'm using. The green is your ground, and this is our grounding rod right here. And then the other one is the hot, the positive, and that's connected to all the wire wrapped around everything. So the way we test it, I'm going to move just slightly away from the box, and you're going to put this rod into wet ground. And then you're going to take this and put it on there. And it is it would be a red light, and it's not doing anything. So that's showing me that it is touching the fence somewhere. So I've kind of made it easy on myself, and I will show you guys how. I actually think I know where it's touching, but just to give you guys an idea of how to figure out. So we have two connections on our electric wire and I tried to run everything down the fence, down and then back up the fence, across and then the other side to keep it all one giant loop. The more connections you have, the less that your electric wire is going to work. So our one connection is here at the gate and it is currently connected. So that runs all the way out there, our perimeter fence around the garden, all the way back there. So, I hear that the electric is, is popping, so if I unconnect that, it's still popping. So I know that this side is still good, okay? And then I have another one over here. Hi, Cap. Hi, kids. She's due in about a week. We're going to have babies soon. All right, so we've got all this electric here. I'm having this gate open, which is my weaning pen. So I just ran the wire up and over the gate so I can keep it connected. Otherwise, everything out here would be disconnected. So if I disconnect that, I'm just going to let it hang. We're going to go back over here. <clears throat> and I can already hear it still clicking. So that tells me that from the box, this tiny section of fence right here, this just little uh, 15 foot section, this section 
to that gate right there and then the section that splits this that's the only wire that's still connected so it's within this section now if it was clicking and I unconnected let's say that gate and it stopped clicking then I knew it was that section out there same with this one so I know that it is within this area and I know how goats can be and they push each other all the time so my guess is somebody fought over the feeder and somebody got pushed into this over here because I have it there because they do fight over the feeder I didn't have electric on this panel of fencing right here and they were ruining my fence so as you can see my fence is all jacked up because they were ramming it consistently trying to get to the feeder on the other side <clears throat> so we're gonna look at those wire not not touching all the way out there is not touching so that wire looks good same with on the top on that far side so this wire on this side we're gonna look at it make sure it's not touching and to me it's touching right there so we're just gonna pull that out see now it's not touching and now we're gonna go back to the box and listen so like I said when we do the buck pen I'll do a more detailed electric fence video on how to completely set it up from start to finish but this is just how to figure out how your fence isn't working or why it's not working. So here's our box. And now you can see it's not as loud. So that's where it was touching. Another reason why yours might not be working, even if it's not clicking and you're not getting any volts, sometimes your grounding rod either isn't deep enough or it's not wet enough. So now I'll quickly show you my tester. All right. Stick that in the ground. And, oops. Okay, it's only showing. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hey, you're chewing on my hand. I'm being attacked over here. Come on, guys. You're going to get me all muddy. Hi, Bazooka. All right, everybody just chill, okay? All right. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's only flashing at 2,000 volts. So that tells me that it's touching somewhere else. Even though it's quieter on the box, we're still not getting the full voltage that we should be. So I'm just going to do a quick walk. I mean, it's still not bad. It's going to work. That one's close, but it's not touching. Let's see if I can squeeze through there. Alright. So we're going to double check this side again, because this is typically where they tend to hit the hot wire. And I'm not seeing it. I did have one other spot. Captain was just checking on his little kids. He's doing very good with them still. Aren't ya? Yeah. Alright. But I did have one other spot that I put some clips to fix it. And I thought I'd fixed it, but we'll just double check. And that's over here. Along here. Let's see. I just want to make sure it's not touching somewhere else. Now sometimes... If your fence is touching a big area, like if, like, let's just say, like, make sure that's still disconnected so I can touch this. Let's just say this whole thing was laying against the fence like that. It won't click at the box. It, it'll just not have any noise. And that's telling you that it's either touching multiple places or a big area. So this all looks good. Go over here. Yeah, that all looks fine. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this one. 
And I'm just going to make sure that we're still getting voltage over here. Yeah, it's saying 2,000 volts. So we're definitely not getting full um, volts where it should be. So I'm going to walk this whole fence line. It's obviously something in the front because before it was connected over here it was still only uh, 2,000 volts. And you want it to be at least 6,000. 6, Check over by my fencing here. Come on guys. Everybody's jumping up on me. They're going to get me all muddy. Alright, so I'll, I'll uh, check this whole thing out and I'll come right back. Because it might take me a little bit. Alright, so it was actually my tester. Um, the cord right here wasn't fully connected to the, the rod. So now, if we check it, it's at 6,000. Six to eight thousand actually. So now our fence is working correctly. Alright, so I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, I know it can get really frustrating with the electric fence when it's not working like it's supposed to. I know I get really frustrated. So, ugh. Um, anyway, uh, if you guys have any comments about it or questions, definitely comment down below. And, um, I got to get everybody fed real quick, so we will definitely see you guys next time, and make sure to hit that subscription button.